All right, anesthesia professionals, are you ready to talk about one of the biggest controversies in anesthesiology? That's right. Today, we are talking about MAC versus general for ERCP. And if you don't know, ERCP stands for endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography. So why is this even a controversy in anesthesia? Let's get into it. The question is, do you routinely place these patients under a general anesthetic and place an endotracheal tube? Or do you place the patients under a deep sedation instead? The controversy has to do with the nature of the procedure. As you can see here, the endoscope that the gastroenterologist has to use goes through the mouth and into the esophagus and into the deeper structures of the GI tract. This probe crosses over the area where the windpipe sits and could put the patient at an increased risk for inhaling gastric contents into their airway. Furthermore, the positioning of the patient is prone or semi-prone, making it difficult to access the airway if needed. Since these procedures can be less than an hour to several hours long, this is a major consideration for anesthesia professionals. With over 500,000 anesthetics performed for ERCP procedures in the United States every year, I'm sure many of you could think of great reasons to do a MAC or great reasons to do a general anesthetic. The question is, what would you choose? And are there patient or procedural factors that weigh into your decision? Comment below, check out the APSF podcast on this, and stay tuned for part two.